Let's look at the stochastic linear programming at work and find out how ResSolver platform handles these problem types. In this example, we introduce another idea which is chance constraints. The reason we are going to use a chance constraint is that it is very difficult to satisfy a constraint all the time when that constraint depends on uncertainty. It is essentially too expensive. You penalize the objective too much if you try to satisfy a constraint where the left-hand side varying all over the place requiring the constraint to be satisfied all the time. We will have a poor objective. In this formulation of the model, we have a gas company which has a planning horizon of two years and is trying to make its purchases of gas this year and next year. There is uncertainty in this model and we are basically modeling the weather with this beta distribution. Future demand and future price of gas are uncertain. Both of them depend on whether the next winter is cold or warm. In the first year, the gas company buys gas from vendors, delivers some to its customers right away, and puts the rest in storage for next year. The following year, the company can supply from storage or buy from the vendors. The decision variables are how much gas to purchase and resell in year one, how much gas to purchase and store from year one to year two, and how much gas to purchase and resell in year two. Here we have something new, the value at risk constraint that is built into the risk solver platform or analytic solver platform. We have an expected value objective, which you can see here. We can solve this model by just clicking optimize. We get something automatically, which is a solution found through robust optimization. Let's look at our objective that we are trying to maximize with double clicking on this cell and saying yes to run one simulation. You can see how it behaves over all the uncertain future scenarios. We have more to say about this model in a moment. Now let's double click on this cell which is the chance constraint. As you can see, it is staying above zero most of the time, and that is what we ask for, the 95% satisfaction. Now, after running a simulation, we can see the expected total cost. However, think about the fact that we are making our purchase decisions for both year one and two here and now, today at year one. Do we really have to do that? If you think about this problem, it was making its decisions for year one and two today. Can we make those decisions later in time? If you think about it, in many business situations, maybe most, there are wait and see decisions available. We have to make a decision about how much to store upfront, but maybe we can make the decision about how much gas to purchase in year two at the beginning of year two. These are opportunities to adjust and fine tune our plans as the uncertainty is revealed. Risk Solver Platform and Analytic Solver Platform allow you to build a model that incorporates the wait and see decision possibilities and solve it with robust optimization and stochastic programming methods. This capability is very robust. To see how this works, let's look at the gas company recourse. It is the exact same model we looked at. We have the same parameters. But the critical difference is that we have recognized that we don't have to make that decision about gas that we have to buy in year two. So we have defined this decision variable as a recourse decision variable. Another change is this cell which was the chance constraint. Now it goes back to a normal constraint because it has a recourse decision variable. Risk Solver platform will automatically take that into account and apply the appropriate method and use either robust optimization or stochastic programming. It will use the latter this time and we can go ahead and solve this model. 
will get an optimal solution. You'll notice that we no longer have a chance constraint, instead we have a hard constraint because we are going to meet that constraint exactly. We are going to meet demand in year two by adjusting our purchases of gas. Now let's double click on the objective and run one simulation. Here is the distribution. We see that the whole distribution is shifted left and the expected value is reduced. Comparing the results, we can see that we are able to achieve a lower total cost than we could in the earlier model by taking advantage of recourse decisions. This kind of opportunity arises in many decision situations in business, and you need the kind of capabilities that Risk Solver Platform and Analytics Solver Platform provide to take advantage of them. The benefit of these products is the ability to automatically analyze your model, meaning you can skip the details of these methods and still get a benefit from them right away. Further tutorials are available on our website or on our YouTube channel. Please feel free to contact us with any questions and start your own free trial today.